So now that we've kind of talked about how to set this up, there's a couple things you need to know to finalize setting this up, which will be zeroing and then what you need to do for transport. So the way that we zero our art lines as a transducer is at the level of the heart. For this, it's going to be at the level of the tragus. And this is your measurement right here. I don't know if you can see this little arrow here. This will adjust up and down. And you'll want to slide this until these little arrows are at the patient's tragus right here. So just a side of it here. That's when it becomes really helpful to have a separate IV pole to do this. So sometimes it's a little bit trickier doing it from a bedside one, but you can. So the only thing you have to do with that is just loosen this cord or tighten it back up. And the other thing you need to know too is this slides up and down. And the way you release that is you just turn it to the left, so counterclockwise. You can adjust this up and down. The reason you'll need to do this is your neurosurgeon is going to give you a pressure measurement that they want this set up. So if they say they want it at, and keep in mind here, there's millimeters of mercury and then centimeters of water. So you have two different measurements here. When they give you a number, you need to ask them if they don't specify, is that 20 millimeters of mercury or 20 centimeters of water? Because that's going to change what you set this up to. So if they want it at 20 centimeters of water, this is the part that you're trying to line up here. You'll turn this counterclockwise and slide it up where that arrow is at zero. So that would be 20 centimeters of water versus if they wanted it 20 millimeters of mercury, you'll slide it up to the 20 right here. Once that's set, that generally doesn't change um, unless your neurosurgeon tells you to, but they should give you what they want it set at to begin with. That will come from them. That's not something that you have to remember. All you need to remember is there's two different units of measurement. Make sure you clarify which one and then this arrow will line up with whichever one that you're using. The other thing is for transport, when patients are going to be stationary or held down in our ED, like we talked about earlier, 99% of the time this is going to be just doing a drain measurement. For transport, you have to always turn this off to the patient though. So the way that you'll do that is you'll flip this down here. So right now it's off to the drain. You're going to turn this off to the patient right here. So this is your patient line. So if it's off, these actually say off on them, whichever way that's pointing, it's off to that direction. So for transport, you always turn this off to the patient. Make sure, like if you're taking the patient to ICU, that you tell the ICU nurse and remind them that this is off to the patient. And once they get kind of settled in and moved over, then they'll open it back up to however they need it to be set up. But that's the two big things is you need to zero at the level of the tray goes to the patient here. And you need to adjust this to whatever setting they specify by lining this up with that measurement and then making sure that the patient line is off during transport.